The Black Forest biome contains the item that will act as the jumping board for the endless possibilities that Valheim provides. Follow me on my adventure through the Black Forest as I share with you how to find and use that special item as I do my best Dwarven Miner impression, wake the dead, do battle with Shrek's blue cousin, Surprise, find our new friendly best friend, and overcome the King of the Forest. All of which will lead us to the key material enabling us to ascend out of the Stone Age and accelerate our travels across Valheim's massive world. The first thing you will need to do is craft the Antler Pickaxe using the Antler acquired from defeating the Meadows boss, Eichthyr. Once crafted, equip your leather armor and favorite weapon and set your sights on finding tin and copper ore. Tin will predominantly be found along water sources in small chunks, whereas copper can be found amongst the trees in concentrated blocks. Tin will enable us to craft the cauldron, unlocking more advanced food recipes, while copper unlocks the forge crafting station. The forge will allow us to take our weapons and armor to the next level. However, the creatures in the Black Forest are highly sensitive to sound and likely will not let the clink and clank of our pickaxe go unnoticed. Grey Dwarf Brutes, Shamans, and the standard Grey Dwarfs call this biome home. These creatures will drop key resources like resin and Grey Dwarf eyes, and more importantly, the Brutes specifically can drop ancient seeds. I will expand on the importance of these seeds later in this video. Like their Grey Dwarf counterparts, trolls will also be attracted to the sounds you make navigating the biome, or can be found protecting or even inside their caves. They are slow and lumbering but can really pack a punch. As you learn their attack patterns, you can turn the trolls into excavators by dodging their attacks to help accelerate your mining. Once defeated, they will drop Troll Leather Hide. This hide can be used to craft the Black Forest's version of Light Armor. The Trollhide Armor set is the first in Valheim to provide a set bonus. Equipping all four pieces will provide you with plus 15 to your sneak skill, maximizing your damage to snuck up upon targets. With your pockets now full of tin and copper ore, you might notice you did not unlock any new crafting recipes. To make the ore usable, you will first need to smelt it. To do that, we must first wake the dead by diving into the Black Forest's instanced dungeons. Burial chambers predominantly take two shapes, the first being an easily identifiable rectangular rock formation, while the second may be harder to spot, consisting of sloped or flat earth leading to a cave or hole in the ground. A clear indicator that you are near a chamber would be the presence of skeletons as they always protect the dungeon entrances. Inside you will find more skeletons, ghosts, and more rarely rancid remains. As you navigate their narrow passageways you'll find loot in chests such as feathers and arrows but also valuables such as coins, amber, and rubies. The amber and rubies will have great value to our new friend that I will introduce to you later in this video. Additionally, if you are lucky, you'll find a rune stone that provides you the location of the Black Forest boss. These are not guaranteed, so keep in mind you may have to clear several dungeons before finding the rune stone. With all that said, it is time to reveal the real reason we are here. Burial chambers possess the invaluable Sirtling cores. The heat within these cores enable the recipes for the charcoal kiln, smelter, and the secret device that will accelerate your exploration to light speed. If you stick with me to the end of the video, I will tell you everything you need to know about it. With the kiln, you can convert wood to charcoal and use that charcoal to smelt copper and tin at the smelter. From there, you may combine the copper and tin into bronze, granting you recipes for the full bronze armor set, plus a suite of lethal weapons. I will leave a full breakdown of all bronze armor and weapons on screen for your benefit. Feel free to pause the video here. At this stage, we are ready to hunt down the king of the forest, but before we do, I must first share with you the other resources available in the biome and introduce you to our new best friend. The Black Forest introduces a new type of wood not present in the meadows. Poor wood can be acquired from chopping down pine trees. Poor wood will unlock recipes for both the cultivator, bronze pickaxe, and the much improved fine wood bow. Along the floor of the biome, you'll come across new food ingredients such as thistle, blueberries, and also carrot seeds. With carrot seeds and the cultivator, you may now begin a carrot garden in the meadows biome. I'll leave a full list of food recipes you will have unlocked by progressing the biome. Personally, I'd recommend combining the carrot soup, queen's jam, and deer stew for a good balance of health and stamina. And of course, if you have some luck, you will come across Haldor on your journey. In case you did not know, Haldor is a subscriber to the channel, and you can be too. Subscribe for easy access to more Valheim content. Haldor is a friendly merchant, allowing you to sell your valuables and purchase items of great value. I will leave a full list of his wares on screen for you to view, but I would personally recommend you purchase the Meshing Jord. This belt will increase your carrying capacity by 150 to a maximum of 450, a must need purchase. 
All that said, Haldor is not a guaranteed spawn and is very tricky to find. What we do know is that he must spawn at least 1500 meters away from your original spawn location, and a white bag icon will appear on your map when you come within approximately 300 to 500 meters of his location. As it turns out, this is roughly a distance equal to two lengths of your minimap. To find Haldor, I recommend following the coast of a black forest biome by boat and keep an eye on your minimap for this important white bag icon. And with that, let us hunt the Elder. Once you have identified the location of the Elder, you must gather three ancient seeds. As mentioned previously, these can drop from Grey Dwarf Brutes. Alternatively, you can farm these from destroying Grey Dwarf spawning nests. With three ancient seeds, all that is left to do is sacrifice the seeds at his altar to summon him and take him down. He has three attacks, a vine shooting ranged attack, a stomp if you get up close and personal, and thirdly, he will spawn immobile roots, which will attack you if you get too close. He is immune to poison, spirit, and stagger but weak to fire. I recommend bringing the fine bow with fire arrows and take him down at a distance. Once defeated he will drop both his trophy and the swamp key. Mount the elder trophy on his corresponding sacrificial stone to unlock his forsaken power. This power enables a 60% increase in axe damage to trees for 5 minutes for you and nearby allies. Second, the swamp key will be essential to your progress as you now turn your attention to the swamp biome. But before we finish up, let me tell you how your playthrough is forever changed after clearing this biome. Remember the Certling cores you acquired from the burial chambers? Going forward, you can combine these with Grey Dwarf Eyes and Fine Wood to create portals. Once built, give the portal a name. If you then craft a second portal with a matching name, you effectively have fast travel in Valheim. Next time you plan on a long adventure, build a portal in your home and bring materials on your adventure to build a matching portal at your destination. This will save you an agonizingly long trip home once complete. I recommend building a dedicated portal in your home base to keep your adventures organized. With all that said, keep these two tips in mind when building portals. 1. Lowercase and uppercase letters matter in naming your portals. Ensure the names match down to the case of your letters. And 2. Remember you cannot travel through a portal with certain resources such as tin and copper ore. Any items that cannot be transferred through a portal will have an icon clearly indicating this fact and a message will display when attempting to portal with that item. And that's it. Happy portaling. Check out my other biome guides on screen for more great Valheim content. Thanks.